Today, hundreds joined together to remember Deputy Cooper Dyson, who lost his life on the job. Kristen Ayers was at the procession and memorial. And Kristen, this was much more than just a memorial. This was a ceremony about respecting and honoring his life. Absolutely. That memorial happened right here at the Tacoma Dome. It was open to the public, so hundreds of people came out. Some of them actually knew Deputy Dyson personally. Others just felt a pull to come out and pay their respects. First, the procession. A somber parade of officers on horseback and on foot flanked by flags. Looking on, people like John, who watched as officers escorted the flag-draped casket of Deputy Cooper Dyson into the Tacoma Dome. John came here because he felt called to. I come from a family of law enforcement, so when I can be out here when something like this happens, I come out and support. Um, we need to stand by our men and women in uniform. In much the same way, Sheriff Paul Pastor said Deputy Dyson did duty and obligation and sacrifice. He was pursuing these three commitments when we lost him. He answered his calling righteously. Dyson's calling cut short 10 days ago. He was the first to respond to a request for backup during a domestic violence call. But on the way, he lost control of his patrol car and careened off a road. His car burst into flames. He put his heart and soul into this job as a Pierce County Sheriff's deputy. But his friends and colleagues say he was more than just his job. Dyson was a family man, Brittany's husband, Luke's father, with a girl named Hallie on the way. And even though he was on the force for less than two years, those who knew him say he made an impact that won't be forgotten. His last acts on earth were righteous and selfless. Cooper's gonna live on. Cooper's gonna live on inside of me. Now, the pastor at tonight's memorial shared an interesting tidbit tonight. He said uh, that Cooper Dyson was a man of faith, and he said he found it interesting that inside the patrol car that was burned, there was a Bible that uh, Deputy Dyson left in his car. That was left unburned. Reporting live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.